I'm gonna serenade you for it actually. Um, so before I start, I want to say that I'm kind of sick. So I start coughing. I'm not dying. I'm just sick. What? Okay, I don't know what you're saying. So. Whatever. Okay, so. For those who don't see, I was already. I've, I've been in an act. But if you guys don't know me, you might ask, who are you? To which I would say, my name is Jack. A name given to me by my mother and father that bears a strange disconnect to my motherland brothers. I am the first to be born here, but not the first to belong here. And there's a spot that I'm supposed to dot as if the census means some sort of consensus. I'm Asian American, but what does it mean? Am I Asian, American, or something else in between? And we may all have the same hair, the same eyes, the same skin, but why is my identity dependent on my kids? Why am I lumped into a group that myself must come from stereotypes and dumpling soups? No, my identity is layers upon layers of complexity. I'm in the body, slinging rhymes, storming, dance, grooving beast of a man, an enigmatic ego that even I can't understand. And words are not divine enough to define the tough exterior that I put up against the pressures that pushes me from every side because I am an Asian American male. And I'm telling you now, to the best of my ability, that I'm making a choice to be an abnormality. So who am I? I am you, I am we, I am not what society says I should be. I am not that quiet Asian who's exceptional in school. I don't deliver your food, nor do I know Kung Fu. And I am not that macho man that won't ever shed a tear, who grew up thinking emotion is weakness that we must fear. And my eyes may be small, but I can still see perfectly clear who I am. I am not the model minority. Oh, he's Asian, so he's this and that. Or he's black, so he must be strapped. Or he's Muslim, so have his wires tapped. Or her shirt is all cut, so let's call her a slut. No, no, we are not bound by our appearances, by the color of our skin, by what or who we have between our legs, by labels that can only disable. I am not a woman who is submissive to men. I am not the minority you are locked up in pen. I am not destroying the sanctity of marriage. I am not stealing your jobs. I am not under your bondage. I am free. I choose who I want to be. And so I ask you, you, who are you? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. See, okay. So, so, so when I come on stage, you know, you look at me and I'm like, oh, what is he gonna do? You know, because I like rap. You know, I'm an accidental poet because I like rap, but I can't rap because I'm Asian. And like, I don't have street cred. Like, like, people ask you, like, oh, where are you from? And I'm like, Brooklyn. And they're like, oh my god, that's where Jay-Z's from. And I'm like, except I live with a bunch of Asian people. So that's not, that's not hard at all. Anyways, um, so my next piece. Uh, so we've all had breakups. And after breakups, you're kind of spiteful and angry. And uh, this next piece is called Out of My Head. I'm haunted by the memories of the past I just can't erase. Girl, I want you out of my head, but I just can't forget your face. Like the saying goes, easier said than done. All the people out there with broken hearts that weigh a ton. Y'all can't relate cause it ain't easy to forget someone, especially if you thought you last into the long run. I try to empty my head like the ceiling on that wall. Winter into summer, whoa, I forgot my seasons. Winter into spring, in the summer, back to fall. Hours into minutes, in the seconds for a call. Waiting for you has slowed time to a crawl. Memories of me and you flood my head, and I can't fall asleep in the vacant bed. And my friends tell me, you're gonna get through this. But here I am, thinking, what I, wait, whoo, sorry. When I look at other girls, you're the only one I see. And here I am thinking, how messed up could you be? All the words you said to me fucked me up, like how you said you loved me. But those are lies to cover up, and enough was enough. And I was angry. But in a moment of prospection and clarity, I broke my own shackles of animosity. I thought to myself, there's more to being me than just being bitter, because I'm not with her. So I asked myself this. Fast forward 10 years, will you still feel the same? Can you remember her face? Can you remember her name? Don't be held back by memories and live only in the past Cause people come and go and life is short and fast And there are more emotions in the spectrum of life Than just your present anger, madness, sorrow and strife And so, just forget all the words she once said Move on and get her out of your head Thank you One more, I have one more, hold on I actually forgot that I'm, I'm actually part of this a uh, art collective slash like, like YouTube startup. It's called Arc, and um, 
Sam's actually the founder of ARC, and it stands for Act in Real Causes. And our goal is really to use art as a way to like raise social awareness. Like my first poem was about you know stereotypes and stuff like that. So Sam's actually going to talk about art later, so I don't want to steal his thunder. And uh, this last piece is, um, I feel like, something that everyone can relate to. And it's called uh, Drama Class Performance. All right, so here we go. I like to believe that everyone has talent that's untapped, a reservoir of beauty that's unmapped, a mountain of courage that's not yet discovered. But imagine this. A singer with no lips, a writer with no pen, a dancer with no legs, Beethoven with no hands, a man who wants to be something more but he can't because something is holding him back, holding him down, pulling on his heartstrings and playing off his fears. And that man was me. I hated the limelight. I hate it when I'm standing in the light and the only things in my sights are people, people who I see looking at me. I look, I look at them, they look back, I stare at the floor and they wait some more, they wait for me. They think I'm so, some sort of prophet or a performer that'll turn up a prophet, but I'm not. I was too scared. And because of this, my soul had no outlet and ideas should stay here, covered in a helmet of hair and doubt, and I want to speak out. But instead, I carried the weight of ideas to the bed when I sleep, so I wake up with yesterday's thoughts very deep because I was shy and nervous in front of the crowd, and against the silence, my heart beats too loud. But of course, I'm standing in front of you now, but a different man, a man who's poetic with classy aesthetics, whose aim has become to entertain and maintain a high for you guys. So if you are amazed, don't restrain from covering me in a rain of praise that's profane, like, fuck yeah, he is good, because I would appreciate that. Be because all that fear was then in a drama class held between 8 and 10 where I would struggle to stay awake but now I want to make something more of myself so I pursue my daydreams and despite my self-esteem I still have the steam to keep on moving like a locomotive I'm motivated to reach that goal I had set into my soul to reach that point so I won't disappoint I have to break out of the self-imposed prison to shine with all my colors right through the prism and so I became harder, better, faster, stronger. I can't be that scared boy no longer. And along the way, I picked up a habit. Flow and applause injected, I can't quit. And I love it. I love the high that I get so that it gets me more than I was before. Because the euphoria of having no restriction, of speaking my mind with conviction, even though I still sweat over my, over my addiction, has made performance not an affliction, but rather an addiction. A constant chase for praise. And finally, standing ovation. <laughs> 